I'm going to show you a slight modification I've made to the coal smoker system. We've got a larger can here, larger diameter and longer length. I'm using the same size intake pipe and the same size exhaust pipe I've used in the past. So I'm using a mixture of this fine Manaka tea tree and I'm using coarser Manaka chip, probably about one third Manaka chip and two thirds tea tree. And I use the same old aquarium pump. So the first thing I'll do is I'll fit the intake pipe in the smaller hole here. And then on the other side of the can where my thumb is, the exhaust pipe will go in there, they'll meet up with each other. And there's a smaller hole in the front here, there's a fire hole, you can see the uh, heat marks around it. So you can see my can now, the exhaust pipe's the bigger pipe on the side here, intake, intake pipe's on the other side, the smaller pipe. And if you look inside here, hopefully you can see it, the intake, intake pipe is slid, slid inside the uh, large exhaust pipe. And then there's a fire hole out the front, I'm going to grab some of this gauze over here, this is what I'm going to use as a baffle. It basically keeps the uh, manica off the pipe. So if you look inside here now, hopefully you can see I've got that gauze, aluminium gauze baffle fitted. Hopefully in a manner that's going to encourage the manica to slide down towards the exhaust hole at the front here, or the fire hole, sorry. I tend to start filling the bottom of the can initially with the uh, finer manica and to stop it poking out the hole straight away. What I initially do is I've got a couple of magnets over there just to stop that fine stuff running out. And so I'll probably get this can roughly about a third full with the finer stuff and then I'll start adding the coarser manica chip to it. Right, as you can see I've got the aquarium hose going into the intake pipe and the internal diameter of the intake pipe is the same or very close to the external diameter of the uh, aquarium hose. Cans filled up, roughly one third Manica chip as you see on top and two thirds of the uh, finer Manica chip that's inside there. Alright, I've got the aquarium pump going going to shift these magnets down the bottom here a little bit. Oh, this is uh, smoking away quite well at the moment. A bit hard to see because uh, the wind at the moment is quite windy outside it's blowing all the smoke away. I'll just put a little black jacket behind the uh, smoker and you should be able to see smoke pouring out of it. I'm going to hook it up to the uh, smoker outside shortly, coal smoker, get some baking going and I'll get some video of it for you. Right, you can see the hopper there. I've actually just topped it up with uh, a bit of a tea tree. Probably roughly about a third of the way up and I'll just come back probably tonight. I'll be working up the back of the farm. I expect it'll burn it down part way and I'll, uh, I'll just top it up and that'll smoke away quite easily overnight. It's a bit windy so it's a bit hard to see the smoke. As I say, open the door you can see plenty of smoke coming out. You can see the smoke's coming through the uh, exhaust pipe down the bottom. Now I've got another slight modification. You'll note that these Brinkmans have got big gaps around them. And the consequence is all the smoke sneaks out for the gaps. You can see it disappearing down there. So I've got some magnetic strips and I just attach them around the ends, ends and sides and that just helps hold the smoke in. So you can see it, the basic uh, modifications I made to my original smoker. I've got a larger diameter can, slightly longer. I've got a uh, bit of uh, heat transfer ducting which I use as a hopper which is bulldog clipped to the handle of the Brinkman and I can just uh, chuck a bit of tea tree in there as, as required. I pop by every five or six hours now and then if I go past and give it a bit of a tap and that helps the stuff to move down the uh, 
into the smoke maker. And I've also got some magnetic strips around the outside of the door, which helps uh, keep the smoke in there.